Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to show you how to do incremental load from Excel templates, which contains only current data. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for all such interesting videos in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. We have weekly sales data coming from an Excel template. And this is the source Excel for that visual. The problem which we are going to solve is, this Excel contains only 7 days data, and this historical data get deleted from this source file itself. And once we have the new 7 days data, and if we will refresh our Power BI report, this historical 7 days will get deleted and only it will show the latest week data, but that's not what we wanted, we want to see even previous dates data which is not there as source itself. Let's solve this problem by running our DAX query in Power Automate, yes, in Power Automate. So we will first copy our visuals query from Performance Analyzer. We will now add a button with Power Automate, and before that we also need to publish this report to a Power BI workspace. The first flow we will be adding is, refresh our published dataset, so that it will have the latest data in it. And then comes the important part, which is to paste here the DAX query, which we have generated with the help of Performance Analyzer. The second flow is to run a DAX query against the Power BI dataset. The output of this DAX query will be saved in a CSV file. At this step, you can choose a central location to store this file, but in this example, we are storing it at local for demonstration. You can even use the same process if you want to export the visuals query automatically, and instead of the button click, you can also set a schedule time to export. You will need a gateway if you want to store it at local or on-premise, we already have it installed. We have named the file as exported data, but we will make that file name dynamic, based on at what time is being exported. Here we are going to make the exported file name dynamic using UTC now and format functions.
it's time to test if the Power Automate is able to export the desired data or not. And the data is being exported. Now we will use this data to feed into our same Power BI report for incremental load. For that, we will use a folder connection so that all the exported data will get appended. And finally, we will combine exported data and current data inside Power Query Editor. Since at this moment exported data also has the same 7 days information, now we are going to change the source data for the next 7 days and see if our entire setup is working. We are in local Power BI desktop, so we will also need to refresh the desktop file. And here we go, we have the new 7 days and historical 7 days in our report. Let's test it for one more time. And this is working as expected, now we will publish this report to Power BI service again and check if it's working from there as well. As said earlier, you will need a data gateway if your files are at local or on-premise. Let's change the source data for next 7 days, and this time test it from Power BI service. And this is it, we have solved this particular problem. Running a DAX query inside Power Automate can also discover many automations, like bulk export from Power BI visuals on schedule basis and others. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting topics in Power BI.